includes right here in the basin. Some students walk the stage tonight and others are getting their caps and gowns ready for tomorrow. But in the wake of the tragic school shooting in Uvalde, many, including parents and educators, are still on edge. Fred, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Carson Bush Shows. And I'm Ozzy Mora. Madeline has a night off. Now, this year, graduation ceremonies are being meticulously planned. Let's go right to ABC Big 2's Rob Tuke, who joins us live in Odessa tonight. Rob, safety right now is on the mind of a lot of parents and students. Well, that's right, guys. It's a packed house here at Ratliff, and tonight is all about celebrating those graduating seniors. But safety is on the minds of a lot of people, and it's also important for the families, the students, and the staff. As they go into the ceremony, local law enforcement want to make sure that those families stay safe during the ceremony and after. School is officially out for ECISD students. Tonight, graduating seniors from Permian High School and their families filled Ratliff Stadium for graduation. This is graduation season. ECISD Superintendent Dr. Scott Murray said multiple law enforcement agencies are stepping up patrols in partnership with the school district. The announcement was made the same week a mass shooter claimed 21 innocent lives in Uvalde at an elementary school. We have heightened our own security on our campuses. In Odessa, seniors from high schools OCA, OC Tech, and New Tech have turned their tassels already. With more local graduations to come, security patrols will remain beefed up. We have graduations and other events this week, and we will have heightened security and awareness at each of those events as well. But once those families leave the ceremony, the next concern is about how they choose to celebrate. Uh, don't be the cool parent that provides alcohol to your graduate and their friends. It's not worth it. Uh, you can't afford it. Odessa's social host accountability ordinance means adults who give underage people alcohol and a place to drink can face a hefty fine up to two grand in jail. For those who can legally drink, officers will be out on the road making sure you don't drive. Meantime, local law enforcement are also keeping an eye out for one thing, counterfeit drugs. Hoping substances with fentanyl don't turn celebrations into tragedy. If someone offers you a substance and you don't know what it is, just turn it down. And tomorrow night, graduating seniors from Odessa High School will have the chance to walk across the stage. All of that is happening at 8.30. Live in Odessa, Rob 2, KBC Big 2 News.